welcome back to the Stitches and Scribbles channel. My name is Erin and today I'm attempting to do another one day makes um, but I think there's a chance it might take longer than that just because of the number of parts involved but the pattern looks pretty simple so we'll see if this ends up being a one day make or if it's just a, a normal project video. But today I am going to be attempting to make a set of crocheted fairy wings. I will link the pattern I used in the description box below. I'm going to look at it on my computer real quick so that I can talk about it. But this is the wings pattern by Grace Moth, although I believe her Etsy is a different username, so definitely check that below. Um, I originally tried to purchase this off of Ravelry, but the link to purchase the pattern doesn't seem to be there as well as a download, so I got it off of Etsy instead. Um, but I originally saw this on Pinterest and decided I wanted to make a pair of fairy wings for one of my Renaissance Fair costumes this year. And I decided for my first pair to do just kind of a very basic cream beige color for the wings so that I could add fun accessories to it. In this case, I think I'm going to turn it into a steampunk kind of costume and add like gears and things that are removable so that they aren't permanently attached to the wings so I can use them for something else. So let's talk about materials. I purchased the Bernat Softy Baby Cotton in the color Feather Gray. To me it looks beige. On camera it looks kind of gray. Um, but it's definitely like a warmer neutral instead of a cool neutral, if that makes sense. I did purchase two of these. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to need one, but I went ahead and got two in case I had leftovers to make a bag or something to go with the finished piece. Um, the other thing I have is hangers. Um, these are just ones from the dry cleaner, and they're kind of this like yellowy metal color. I'm trying to put my hand behind it so that you can see. Um, they have this little cardboard piece on them but that will be removed. This was what was recommended in the pattern to use as the frame for the wings. So like I said before the pattern actually looks pretty simple so I don't think the crocheting part is actually going to take me that long today but I think putting the wings together is what's going to take a while. So yeah, I am not planning on actually styling this piece today, just in case you're going to try to skip to the end to see like a final reveal with the costume. Uh, that's not my goal today, but I am planning on doing kind of a Ren Fair Get Ready With Me video or something of that nature so that you can see the finished piece when I actually wear it to the Renaissance Fair. But today we're going to stay in our comfy clothes and just make a pair of fairy wings. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right in and get started by crocheting my wing pieces.
Alright, I have finished my little insert pieces for the wings. So there are these two little flower shapes for the top wings and two circles for the bottom wings. The original pattern calls for these to be multicolored, but I'm doing mine all in one color just to simplify things. So my next step is going to be disassembling the wire hangers and cutting them to the correct lengths. Um, it looks like um, there's a measurement for the two top wings and a measurement for the two bottom sections of the wing and then we're going to be crocheting around the hanger it looks like. Um, I will say one thing about this pattern it does not have any photos in the pattern itself. She does have really detailed drawn illustrations that are really helpful but I recommend pulling up the photos on the Etsy listing or the Ravelry listing if that's where you ended up getting the pattern. Um, and looking at a close-up of how the wings are constructed to like see how the pieces fit together. So I'm going to dive into shaping and crocheting along the hangers and I'll come back and update in a little bit. Oh, I did say, I don't think I said, um, it took me about an hour to make all four pieces, but let's move on. Okay, so it's actually several days later. I'm still going to count this as a one day make because the reason why I had to postpone was not my fault. So the hangers I got, um, I have since thrown them out, I should have saved them to, th to show you what I was talking about, but mine had like a cardboard thing at the bottom um, and I mistakenly thought that the wire ran all the way through that cardboard section. Um, it did not, so my hangers were too short. And when I tried to bend them with pliers, they just broke, so they weren't going to work anyway. So I had to place an order for some wire uh, so that I could finish this project, and it took a couple days to get here. So I now have the wire. I'm a little concerned because even though the wire is actually thicker than the hanger wire was, it's very pliable, like it's very easy to pull and stretch. Um, so I'm a little worried that, that's dangerous, um, I'm a little bit worried that my wings will have trouble keeping shape, but also this might be good because then I can kind of gently fold them to put them in a box, so hoping that this works. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my washer in the background. Everything filming-wise got backed up, so I'm now doing laundry at the same time as filming. It is what it is. So I'm still going to try to finish these wings today. Um, I think I said in the last one I spent maybe an hour crocheting total. It's now about 10.30 in the morning and I'm hoping I can finish these by this afternoon because as of when I'm filming this, uh, this video is released tomorrow. So I need, it's crunch time, I need to finish this video so that I have something for you all to watch. Um, so obviously if you're watching it, I made it in time. Um, but I'm going to just keep following the pattern. Um, I'm going to start by cutting and shaping my wire and we're just going to keep plugging along.
right, so I did make one slight adjustment from the pattern that I wanted to talk about before I move on to the next step. So as you would have seen in the previous clips, I started by trying to single crochet around the wire. The pattern actually called for just wrapping the wire with yarn, but I wasn't sure that that was going to stay in place the way I wanted to. So I started with single crochet, but I realized that that was causing my hand to cramp up really bad and it was going to take forever. So instead I pulled out my tulip I-cord machine and I just knitted I-cords and scrunched them onto the wire loops to cover the wire. I also thought this gave it a little bit more structure to it a little bit. Um, but after this I'm just going to continue with the pattern as normal. I just wanted to explain what I was doing. So let's keep going with the assembly of these wings. and here are the finished wings. I love how these turned out. I'm so excited about them. I did make one more adjustment. So in the pattern it calls for wrapping all of the um, like extra lengths of wire in the center to kind of hold it together. I did do that and I reinforced it with some hot glue also to make sure that like the pokey ends of the wire wouldn't come out. But then I did crochet a casing to go over it and just sewed it in place to kind of hide any of the like yarn ends and some of the glue that was sticking out. But I think these turned out so pretty. They are still a little flexible, but I'm not really worried about them like becoming misshapen as I'm wearing them. And even if I did, it's pretty easy to just sort of pop them back into where they're supposed to be. I did not put any sort of, um, straps or anything on them yet because I kind of want to wait and see what it looks like with my costume before I make a decision on how to add straps. But yeah, I think that these turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited to add them to my Renaissance Fair costumes and this might even be a piece that I want to hang as art in between, like maybe create a little set of like butterfly antenna or something so that they can hang on the wall when they're not in use because they just turned out so neat. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspired some crafts for you. I am hopefully going to do a video sometime in the future showing how I style my knit and crochet pieces for the Renaissance Fair. So that'll probably come up once it gets closer to like actual summer season. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks again for watching. If you want to check me out on other forms of social media, that'll be in the description box below, as well as the link to the pattern that I used for this video. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.